do I have the right to say whatever I want? Can my employer refuse to provide contraceptives? Can I publish subversive literature? Can I carry a concealed weapon? These are all important principles of constitutional interpretation, the validity of which has nothing to do with whether I myself am a nice person or a horrible person. The basic principle of freedom of speech, freedom of protest, freedom of assembly has to be applicable to all varieties of content or else it doesn't truly protect anybody. Sometimes the person who's thought of as being monstrous is actually a test case for an important constitutional principle. In 1977, the American Nazi party wanted to have a march through the predominantly Jewish suburb of Skokie, Illinois, and the ACLU defended their right to do so. Why would they do that? Why would any lawyer defend a monstrous client? I'm sure that the ACLU lawyers aren't themselves sympathetic to the Nazis. What they're sympathetic to is the principle of freedom of assembly and freedom of speech that are listed in the First Amendment. Atheists, religious dissenters, pacifists, socialists, Nazis, these are all the sorts of people who could conceivably get in trouble for marching, protesting, speaking their mind, publishing their views. If those kinds of views aren't well protected by the legal system, then nobody is. If a legal system depends on the equal treatment of the person subject to it, it's going to have to have certain protections and immunities built into it.